Over the centuries, history is filled with wonderful tales of mysterious people, many of whom are never identified. This list is a selection of the five most significant or mysterious people of this variety. Falkenelli is a 19th century French alchemist and author whose identity is still unknown. One of the most extravagant tales retells how his devoted pupil Eugen Cancellier successfully transformed 100 grams of lead into gold with the use of a small quantity of projection powder given to him by his teacher Falkenelli. It is believed that on the verge of World War II, German intelligence service was in active pursuit of Falkenelli because of his knowledge of the technology of nuclear weapons. According to Falkenelli's student, Cancellier, his last brief encounter with Falkenelli happened in 1953, years after his disappearance. Cancellier had known Falkenelli as an old man in his 80s, but now the master had grown younger. He was a man in his 50s, after which he once again disappeared, leaving no trace of his whereabouts. D.B. Cooper is a notorious aircraft hijacker who on November 24, 1971, after receiving a ransom payout of $200,000, leapt from the back of a Boeing 727 as it was flying over the Pacific Northwest, somewhere over the Southern Cascades. Cooper escaped from the plane by jumping off the rear ASTR with a parachute. It is not known whether he survived the jump. In 1980, an eight-year-old boy found $5,800 of $20 bills washed up on the banks of the Columbia River. The serial numbers matched those of the ransom money which had been noted. If he lived, then it was a perfect crime. The man in the iron mask was a prisoner held in a number of jails during the reign of King Louis XIV of France. The true identity of the man is unknown because no one ever saw his face which was hidden by a black velvet mask. He is from 1669 when Louis XIV's minister placed the prisoner in the care of the governor of the prison of Pinerol. The prisoner was told that if he spoke to anyone of anything other than his immediate needs, he would be killed. When the prisoner died, all of his belongings were destroyed. To this day, no one knows who he was. The green children of Woolpit the two children who appeared in the village of Woolpit in Suffolk, United Kingdom in the 12th century. The children were brother and sister and they had green colored skin. They spoke an unrecognized language and refused to eat anything other than pitch from bean pots. Eventually their skin lost its green color. When they learned English, they explained that they were from the land of St. Martin, which was a dark place because the sun never rose far above the horizon. They claimed that they were tending their father's herd and followed a river of light when they heard the sounds of bells, finding themselves in Wolpit. Some of the more unusual theories proposed for the origin of the children are that they were hollow earth children, parallel dimension children or extraterrestrial children. The Poe Toaster is the nickname given to a mysterious man who pays annual tribute to Poe by visiting his grave every year. The strange tradition started in 1949, a century after Poe's death, and it occurs every year on the author's birthday on January 19th. According to Wikipedia, in the early hours of the morning on that date, a black-clad figure, presumed to be a male, with a silver-tipped cane, enters the Westminster Hall and burying ground in Baltimore, Maryland. The individual proceeds to Poe's grave, where he raises a cognac toast. Before departing, the toaster leaves three red roses and a half bottle of cognac on the grave. There have been no attempts to interfere with the toaster or to unmask him, most likely out of respect for the tradition. Some of the sure shots we missed are the Babushka Lady, Kaspar Hauser, Gil Perez, and many more. Still, if you know of other fascinating people that would suit a similar list, be sure to tell us in the comments. Thank you. For more such videos, Please subscribe to our channel.